In this training video, we're going to walk through how to use the Mimecast spam filter. First, we'll discuss the email digest feature, which provides options to release, block, or permit messages directly from within the email. Next, we'll log into the Mimecast dashboard and show you how to manually release and whitelist addresses without having to wait for email digests. A few times per day, you will directly receive an email digest from Postmaster. This digest will provide the email address, a subject line, the date the email was sent, the reason why the email was caught in the spam filter, and three methods to release, block, or permit emails. Clicking on release will release the current email on hold to your inbox, but future emails from the sender will still be placed on hold. Clicking on block will reject the email and adds the sender's address to your personal block list, blocking future emails from the sender. Finally, clicking on permit delivers the email to your inbox and adds the sender's address to your personal permit list, so future emails are not put on hold. Mimecast also provides an option to log in directly to the dashboard to manually release and whitelist addresses without having to wait for the daily email digest. To do this, navigate to the Mimecast portal and click Next after entering your email address. In the next window, Ensure Domain is selected from the dropdown and type in your network password and click Log In. Once logged into the portal, your inbox will be displayed in the center panel. To view all messages currently blocked in your inbox, click on Advanced or the three dots on the left and then select Personal on hold. To release a message, tick the checkbox next to the email and then click the thumbs up icon, choosing any one of the following options. Selecting Release Message will release only this message to your email. Selecting Release Message and Permit Sender will release the message as well as release any email sent from the sender's email address going forward. Finally, Release Message and Permit Domain will release the message as well as all emails sent from the organization's domain name going forward. You may also reject a message by following the same process, but by clicking the thumbs down icon. A similar list of options will be provided to reject the message, reject the message and block the sender, or reject the message and block the domain. Within the Mimecast portal, you can also manage your individual blocked and permitted lists using the options at the bottom of the column. To permit or block a new email address or domain, click the Add Blocked or Add Permitted on the top of the right page. In this example, we're going to be blocking all emails from domain.com. Once the website has been added, click the Block button and a success box will appear confirming the action.